Police dash cam video released today shows the moments that led up to a deadly car crash. Police had already ended the chase when the wreck killed Jason Lewis and sent others to a hospital. It isn't the first deadly chase in the metro. New at 6, Shannon Halligan spoke to a mother who knows the heartache and is fighting to make sure it doesn't happen again. This is all too familiar for Cheryl Cooper. Her son died here in a crash after Independence Police chased a suspect. And since then, she's pushed for change. Chris Cooper was only 17 years old. He was just riding his bike home. And that's when a person who was running from police hit him going 80 miles per hour. But I still believe that the contribution of the police Officers who conducted the chase contribute that contributed to my son's death. Since that day in 2007, Cheryl Cooper pushed for changes in the Independence Police Department. They need to ask themselves, themselves, and everyone else needs to ask themselves, if it were your child, your husband, your son, brother, whoever it was, it, would their life be a price you would be willing to pay to get someone who's speeding off the road? Monday afternoon, a similar crash. Independence police attempted to pull over 22 year old Andrew Stark for speeding. This officer called off the pursuit before he entered into Kansas City. But Cooper's lawyer has the same question now as he did seven years ago. How far do you need to go to ticket a speeder? Um, you can, if the speeder is going to flee from you, and the officers in a residential area, you have a license plate, you're able to get close enough for a license plate. And Cooper hopes that new guidelines will be put in place to prevent another innocent death. Live in Independence, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.